Hey guys, it is me again, as you can tell. Today's Thursday, January twentieth, two thousand eleven. Makes it day twenty on our project. Serve him more, two thousand eleven. If you guys are doing all right tonight, excuse me, guys. Uh, I wanted to get this being it earlier tonight, guys, which I know it's still not very early, but. Uh, early compared to what I've been getting on me in here lately so uh, I just wanted to do that for one reason guys for the biggest reason just to be honest about it um, you know just because I, I to, to just I wanted to get you guys praying for me tonight uh, I mean you know you guys that see this tonight pray for me I had a bad day today um, we've had a horrible week at work uh, We've brought in in four days so far, money-wise, what we should bring in in one day. Uh, and now we've got snow. This has been with no snow. Now the snow's starting to pour down outside, so I don't expect it to be any better tomorrow or Saturday, either one. Uh, I've just been struggling, guys. I'm not going to lie about it. I've been struggling bad. Uh, me and Dad both today, we got down, you know, and, and like I said, normally he's uh, he's always been the one that's had all the faith, and which I mean he still does, but, uh, you know, he's just been the strong one, <clears throat> and, uh, even today, you know, like I said, you can tell it's getting to him so bad, we just, uh, we just both broke down and cried today, I mean, we just sat there and cried and held each other, because we don't know what to do, like I said, I just, I've never, you know, I, I've just never seen anything, I've never seen business this bad, I've never seen money so hard to make, uh, I've just never seen a time when you can't get anybody to pay you. You know, what little business you are doing, nobody don't want to pay you. Um, <clears throat> you know, the power bills are, 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 I think, what's killing everything right now. I think everybody's power bills are so high, they don't have any extra money left. You know, or, or they're afraid they're not going to have any extra money, or I don't know what the deal is. But um, just pray for us, guys. Like I said, it's, it's you know, like I said, I just don't... Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I just hope we can keep going. You know, I just don't know how long we can keep going bringing no money in. Um, so, but you know, I know that the Lord will work something out. You know, He always has. Uh, I can't see what it is. You know, I, I can't see it, what He's going to do. Uh, but I know that He's going to do something. So everybody just pray for me on that. And uh, pray that this, this snow... Uh, I think it's supposed to snow tonight, maybe just flurry a little bit tomorrow. And then I think Saturday and Sunday both, it's, it's supposed to be colder, but I don't think it's supposed to snow. So just pray that we get to have church Sunday too. You know, that's what, on top of all this, you know, when I'm already sitting here broke and, and worried to death about my business, uh, you know, when at least church, you know, church is a, uh, you know, it's a comfort for me, you know, getting to be with fellow believers and and, and getting to preach and getting to get the word of God out there, you know, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel at least, though, even though I may be broke and not be able to pay my bills and, you know, probably going to have my power cut off, you know, at least I still feel purposeful and useful, you know, when I'm when I'm up there preaching the word of God, you know, and it just, like I said, when, when these snows hit and we can't have church and, and it just bothers me bad. So just pray, pray that we can have church this Sunday. Anyway, guys, I'm going to try to make this video shorter, too, uh, just because. Uh, so, if you don't care, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight. I'm going to try to answer comments tonight, too. So, that's one reason, I, another reason I'm going to try to make this shorter. <clears throat> but if you guys will follow me in Mark chapter 4, starting in verse 35, we'll start. And the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in, a, in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And when he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow, man, I tell you, I'd love to have the confidence and the peace that Jesus had here. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? You know, this is the way we do sometimes. And I'll be honest, this is the way I've been feeling here lately. You know, I've been I've been asking God, you know, do you do you not care whether, you know, whether we perish or not? You know, whether we 
you know, get her power cut off and, and get thrown out in the in the street, you know. Uh, sometimes we do this to the Lord. Master, curse not that we perish. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. <clears throat> and the wind ceased and there was a great calm. <clears throat> and he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? See, this, this, tell, this, this is us over and over. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? I mean, guys, I do this. I've done this today. I don't know why I do either. You know, I've seen the Lord take care of me so many times, me and my family and my business. I don't know why I get so fearful. You know, and I, you know, it's just, you know, like I said, I think all the time, I think it's because we, ex we look so far up the road. We look so much into the future and we expect by this time that the Lord's going to have it taken care of. And he just don't always do it in our time. And, you know, when he don't do it in our time, that's when we start freaking out, I think. Uh, so, you know, I just I just pray that, that he bolsters my faith, that he that he takes his fear away from me so that I can feel that peace, you know, that he talks about, that uh, Paul talks about in Philippians chapter 4, you know, that peace that surpasses all understanding. That's what I want. You know, I don't want to be afraid anymore. I don't want to be afraid of, you know, whether I'm going to be able to take care of my family or not and put food on the table. Uh, you know, I'm just tired of being afraid. So, you know, I, I'm... I'm going to try to lay it upon the Lord and say, here, Lord, take it, you know. So, uh, guys, just pray for me. Like I said, pray for me. Uh, uh, that's all I can say is just pray for me, you know. So, anyway, guys, I guess that's got everything took care of tonight. Uh, it was good to see you guys again tonight. Like I said, I'm going to try to answer comments. So, uh, good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. To be honest, I'm <laughs> I already know I'm not going to be in a very good mood, probably, or at least I hope I can be in a good mood. I know I'm not going to get to draw a payday, you know, uh, but, you know, uh, at least maybe still the Lord can give me that peace, or at least maybe I'll be in a decent mood tomorrow evening. But anyway, guys, uh, one way or another, I'll be here. I'm not, I'm not going to let the Lord down just cause things like that. So, uh, one way or another, I'll be here and, uh, till I see you guys again, uh, like I said, guys, just keep praying for me. And I love you guys, and uh, and I really mean that. I do. I love each and every one of you guys that watch these videos, and comment, and talk to me. Uh, you guys have been such a blessing to me. So just pray for me. And uh, I love you guys. And uh, till I see you again, good night, and God bless.